Hey everybody, welcome to episode two. So um, <clears throat> you'll see what I've got going on here, besides listening to an annoying bird, is that I've got the, uh, the chassis uh, laid out how I'm going to put things. And let me just walk you through what I'm doing. So um, here is the transformer. This is where the transformer mounts. Here it is right here. Nice big heavy iron. So the transformer is going to mount here. Wires go through here with a grommet. This is going to be for the antenna that uh, John from uh, Arkansas, a good friend Joe Renan, um, gave me a great suggestion on how to mount the antenna using an octal socket uh, and an old relay. So uh, that's going to be mounted right here. And um, I actually have one of the sockets around here somewhere. I'll show you what it looks like when it's through there. Um, here we go. I feel like a one arm paper hanger. Okay. All right, so uh, socket will be just like this, and then I've got this one for the rectifier tube, the 5Y3. And this one is for the mixer, the 6SA7, and then over on this side is the um, is the output tube, and this will be the the 6L6G. So um, so that's going to be the layout, All right? Rectifier, mixer, output. Over here, I have a hole drilled for the um, for the coil. For the choke, and instead of using a Quaker Oat uh, container, I'm going to use this. This is a four-inch round um, coffee container. It's actually one of these Folgers, and um, and I'm going to use this instead of the uh, Quaker Oat can. It's exactly the same thing. It's a little lower profile, which is good. And um, and I was watching uh, John's video, and he you know mentioned that he put a sticker here for danger of high voltage. So what I'm going to do is after I wind the coil and get this all wound. I'm going to put some uh, saran wrap around it, just to uh, to make sure that you can't touch it, and uh, and that's how that's going to work. And of course, this hole here is for the two uh, wires that come off the coil, and then these two are to mount mount this thing to the bottom. So that's how that's going to look. I also did find um, a, tr a, a bread slicer, <laughs> a smaller one than the one I'm using, um, on Amazon for like ten bucks. So I've gotten that. That's on the way. So I'm not going to use the big one that I, uh, I originally had planned to use. And um, I've got one other little thing that I'm going to do on this thing, I'm going to try anyway, is to put a frequency counter on here so that when you tune it in, you can see what frequency it's tuned to. And I found one of those relatively inexpensive, and uh, we're going to see if we can get that to work. I don't know, that'll be an experiment. And then lastly, um, for these holes that I drilled, uh, Bill asked me what I was gonna, how I was going to do that, and here's the bit that I used, very simple. All right, so um, that's how I've gotten these holes down. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to mount the transformer. I'm going to mount all the tubes, sockets, I should say, and I'll wire all the filaments in, and we'll at least be able to test that all that works. Okay, so that's the plan for now, and uh, I'll come back when I have an update. And here you'll see that all the holes are drilled for the tube sockets. So now we're going to start mounting stuff. So. Let me do that, and I'll be back. Okay, we have our uh, transformer mounted. I'm going to need to put some paint on here and clean that up. Transformer's mounted. 5Y3 rectifier. 6SA7 mixer. 6L6G output tube. And our antenna connection. So, um, <clears throat> that's it for, uh, for that. I'm going to wire these uh, filaments in. I'll do that now. And I'm also going to uh, wind the coil on the uh, little Folgers container. So let me go do that. I'll be back. Okay, so I have my, uh, I have my choke uh, all done. 155 turns of 24 gauge wire. I've got it all wrapped around and of course I have the wires going inside the container. And I put uh, about three or four wraps of uh, clear saran wrap around it, which basically uh, Holds it together nicely and also protects you from getting uh, shocked. There's 300 volts that go through here, I think, of DC, B+. So um, this is now insulated from here and you don't have to worry about it. When you look at the top, basically I just have the wires coming in. One from the top, one from the bottom, which you probably can't see. And I have it mounted with two screws there. And then when you flip it over, you'll see that I have a grommet right here. And I have my, uh, my two wires coming out. So, um, so that part's done. Okay. Uh, so now on to um, onto the filaments. So we're gonna we're gonna start that. Okay.
that was easy. I'll be back. Okay, I decided I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wire these uh, these sockets in yet because <clears throat> I want to kind of draw a map of what I'm gonna do underneath before I start running wires and things. So uh, I'm gonna take a little bit more time on this one. I don't want to rush through it. So um, progress for today. Got all our sockets mounted. We've got our transformer mounted. We've got our choke mounted. We obviously still have our other coil. And uh, the next plan is going to be to uh, figure out a couple things. How the wiring is going to run underneath. What controls I'm going to have in the front. Obviously I want to have a pilot light and an on-off switch and a fuse and all that good stuff. And then um, I, think the, um, I think the frequency counter, if I can get that to work, is going to sit right in here. It's a square little device. So that's the plan. Uh, I'll come back in the next episode and show you what I've decided to do. All right, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody. This is Ron. I knew there was one more thing I wanted to show you. On this, uh, on this coil, um, I was able to get these caps that fit in the ends here. All right, and that will give me actually a way to mount it so I can actually drill a hole here and put a little bracket to mount it. These caps are really simple. If you take a medicine jar, prescription medicine jar, and you cut this blue ring out, <clears throat> this piece of plastic that's in here, the actual part that screws into the medicine bottle, perfect fit, inch and a half. So now I have these caps in there and this thing is, is very solid and I'll have a place to mount it to the chassis. So that's a little trick for anybody that wants to build this thing. That's it. Take care.